Woman claims idols were unerupted because Izzine Alba brutally assaulted her. Cape Town Gotha Izzine Alba has been accused of abuse after a young woman came forward claiming that the idol Saranarap allegedly physically assaulted her. The woman says she lost a tooth in the violent attack. You brutally abused me. I don't deserve to be beaten up like this by a stranger that I have never even wronged. Why? Why did you do this to me? You will run but you will never hide, she wrote on Instagram whilst sharing two photos showing her battered face. The victim's account has since been made private. The police is investigating a claim of physical assault after a charge was laid by the 21-year-old victim. The victim, who on Saturday shared photos of her battered and bruised face, claims the 25-year-old Ndaba opened a bottle of vodka and after an argument ensued started to hit her and then slammed her into a wall. She also lost a tooth during the incident. She claims that Ndaba then ran away. Mzansi Magic spokesperson, Nanda Mizo Mabs, told Channel 24 they have been unable to reach the star that exhibited bad behaviour since Sunday when he lost against Paxton Feelys and flew back to Durban on Saturday afternoon. Mzansi Magic and Idols are aware of social media posts of an alleged incident that took place on 24 November. We have however, been unable to make contact with Mthika Zizinaba, who has travelled back to KwaZulu Natal. Mzansi Magic and Idols condemn any act of abuse, the Mnet run channel said. No interviews. While Paxton Feelys from Bishop Lavis in Cape Town was announced the winner at the end of Sunday night's 13th season finale and sang her closing song surrounded by the rest of the top contestants, Ndaba was nowhere in sight. He suddenly refused to attend the post-Shaw press conference, the VIP prize-giving after-party usually held in the Mardi Gras room at Carnival City and declined to do any media interviews this week as he went to ground. Earlier this week Ndaba remained cloistered in Johannesburg under the care of medical professionals after struggling to deal with his bitter defeat against winner Feelys. Ndaba's manager, Kim Coffin, referred media inquiries to Mzansi Magic saying the TV channel is responsible for his publicity until next week. 16 Days of Activism The claim of physical abuse against the Idol star comes at the start of this year's 16 Days of Activism campaign that runs from 25 November to 10 December and aims to raise awareness over the scourge of violence against women and children in South Africa. In a recent survey one in four women said they've been hit by a man, and one in five said they've been sexually abused or raped with only five of women saying they feel the South African Police Service, SAPS, would help them if they reported it. Sunday is International Day to End Violence Against Women. The Kazizi Daba isn't the first title star involved in a brutal physical fight. 
In August 2011 the Idols contestant Freddie Van Dango Moss was involved in a shocking and violent bar brawl during which his face got smashed in.